Every expectant parent prays for a healthy baby, a full-term pregnancy. One local couple did not have that until now. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is in St. Pete with the Rogers family and their miracle children. The Rogers home sounds a lot like many others. Full of laughter and car crash. Car, ambulance. A home where mom is outnumbered. It's loud, it's rambunctious, it's definitely crazy, but it's a good kind of crazy. <laughs> Matt and Candy always wanted a big family. It just took a little while to get started. Yeah, this one wasn't supposed to happen. No. <laughs> For most people, January means a fresh start. For the Rogers, it's a reminder of what could have been. I remember going in very early on and them saying, your chances of miscarriage are very high. He explained the situation and said, the chances of getting pregnant naturally are, are do not exist. They gave fertilization treatments a try, hoping it would work. Four miscarriages later, their dream of a big family was fading. We weren't one of the couples that, you know, went through the first time and got pregnant instantly. So, you know, we went through a couple cycles before we got pregnant. On their last try, it worked. And two babies started growing in candy. Excitement grew too. But on January 22nd, 2011, Candy celebrated her birthday with labor pains. It wasn't supposed to happen so soon. Yeah, the night we went in, they were like, they're coming. They're coming at night. And they were able to stop it and she lasted another week and a half. 25 weeks, they still came in and talked to us and said, you have a, they have a 50-50 shot at survival. Underdeveloped and dangerously small, Bobby and Cleet Rogers arrived February 8th. Cleet weighed two pounds, Bobby just one. Even our friends, our family, I mean, they didn't know what to say. You say congratulations to someone, you know, when they're- Yeah, you can just read it in everybody's faces. You know, they got decent chances, you know, but likely they're both not gonna make. Months of surgeries and sleepless nights follow. Eventually, the twins pulled through, but each new January, Candy relived those nervous moments. And we were like, okay, well, can we just skip my birthday this year? Her birthday had become a source of pain, something she dreaded, until 2018, when stunningly, miraculously, she got pregnant naturally. Baby number three was due to arrive January 29th, two days after Candy's birthday, and her doctor couldn't believe it. I felt like I saw her uh, through some bad times, and I felt like every time she saw me, I, I, I felt like I was always delivering, you know, not the best news, but then finally at the end, you know, we did get to have that moment. This baby's a miracle. Yeah. Life found a way. Henry Shearer Rogers arrived. I told him, I said, this kid's huge. Like, there's no newborn clothes here. Birthday was January 22nd, and he was nine pounds and one ounce, about four times the size of what the boys were. You know, he could have been another NICU baby, and so we feel lucky. Perfect. That's right. January's aren't so bad now in the Rogers home. Yes, his eyes were open. A home that's loud and crazy and filled with boys. Walking miracles that came at just the right time. Strange how the timing worked out and how you know our prayers were answered, not in the way we expected, but totally welcomed. And I mean, just a miracle. I think it just shows you know how God works in your life. It's made us appreciate more what we've gone through with the boys and it's made us appreciate you know now what it's like to have a, a newborn so it's, it's definitely changed us for the better made our family more complete definitely a birthday blessing for sure best birthday present we could have gotten on the road in st pete i'm bobby lewis 10 news you can see him right here three beautiful boys in the rogers family 
Candy says the best part of this pregnancy was when she was being wheeled out of the hospital right past the NICU holding a healthy baby. Bobby and Cleet right here, they just turned seven and of course, they're excited to be big brothers.